Brett, who's your garbage person of the week? My garbage person of the week is Tim Pool. So do you think you've heard the weirdest Taylor Swift conspiracy theories? Well, you ain't heard nothing yet, Tim Pool, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but imagine a scenario where a visible Trump supporter screaming that she's working for the CIA attacks her. You want to know how to get you? I'll, I'll tell you what I think. I'll tell you. I think the PSYOP is the PSYOP. <laughs> everyone at the Super Bowl is watching. Think about this. Everyone in the world is watching. Not really 20 million people, but still. You've got this big event, massive cultural impact. Taylor Swift is being pulled out by security. The game's interrupted. What's going on? Travis is losing it. He's like, these Trump guys, they're crazy. They've been screaming that she's a government agent. This has got to stop. Then Taylor Swift is given an interview. You know, a day later, and she's like, I have no idea what they're talking about. They keep claiming that these, these Trump supporters keep claiming I work for the government. I don't. And think about what that does. You want to talk about PSYOP? A PSYOP is the PSYOP. Honestly, look, man, I'll tell you this. I don't know who's going to win the Super Bowl, but boy, does it feel manufactured. That feels manufactured. <laughs> That's the most Tim Pooley type thing where you like say a bunch of words and you know you you kind of don't want the the prevailing weirdo to be the weirdo that they're being now, but rather than come out against them and tell them to stop, you just show up and say like the weirdest nothing burger of an all sides can interpret this however they want conspiracy theory. I had trouble following it, but what I knew is that Tim Pool doesn't think the conspiracy theories are meta enough. He needs <laughs> to take a step back and be like, the idea that she's a psyop is not it. The idea that the psyop is the psyop is the psyop. So I'm going to go one better for remove psyop <laughs> psyop, which is a psyops clops, as we all know, a four eyed <laughs> monster that is going to devour Tim. Um, Pool and my takeaway is that Tim Pool is actually the one person who created this all because he's best friends with Taylor Swift. Uh -huh. All the people who are freaking out <laughs> that Taylor Swift is somehow going to do this crazy thing at the Super Bowl, like propose to Travis Kelsey and they're going to get married. And then suddenly everyone's going to be a Biden supporter. Like, what are you talking? And that this was an, a manufactured Super Bowl to have this team there. Like the team that's there won the last Super Bowl. They've been yep. there like three out of the last five times. You didn't need to manufacture this. And, and they're waiting to reveal she's endorsing Biden till when? Till they're famous? This yeah. is Travis the Kelsey and Taylor Swift. And also look at this photo. In 2020, her cookies endorsed Joe Biden. <laughs> like these cookies that I am showing you say Biden 2020 on them. Like what's <gasps> going to be the big reveal, dorks? They're just My like God. And Tim Pool thinks you're all so stupid, but I think you're so smart to understand that he is behind this and he traffics children, allegedly. Oh my God. The crazy Thank thing you. about these conspiracy theories is Maybe. you make a bunch of claims and predictions that don't come true and your audience has moved on. They don't care or know. And then you make a bunch of other claims that are almost certainly or have a very high chance of being true for reasons that have nothing to do with the conspiracy theory, but you attach a conspiracy theory to it so that you can seem like you are Nostradamus. Like you're predicting that the team that has won other Super Bowls, including recently, will win. How very, very bold of you. Or Ramaswamy spins this whole thing about Taylor Swift and he's like, watch when she endorses him and we'll see who's right. Yeah, she's a she's probably gonna endorse him. That doesn't mean that the stuff you and thus she's a dragon. That's not how it works. You don't get to just add things on. But anyway, look, Tim Pool is not a person that I pay attention to. The most notable thing about him is that he is, like many people in the grift verse, is both a moron and also cosplays being a bigger moron than he is. I find that to be a compelling performance, but he's just Alex Jones. Everybody in the media kind of like is patterning themselves on someone that they aspire to be. His is Alex Jones. That's it. He just says insane things that he doesn't believe. And he successfully, to his credit, extracts money from the people unfortunate enough to spend their time on him. That's yep. all it is. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.